All right, we're here in the locker room with Derek Turnbull, uh, the Brewers' uh, phenom relief pitcher. Derek, uh, welcome to Milwaukee. It's great to have you here. Um, how did it feel last year being in the uh, Anaheim organization, the minor leagues, starting, relieving, and also in coming to Milwaukee? What were your goals in uh, spring training this year? Uh, you know, in all honesty, my goal was just to make the team. You know, I was coming in, they put me off waivers from Anaheim, and uh, I wanted to come in and make the team. And then whatever role they were going to have me do, if I, if I made the team, I was going to, you know, do and try to get the job done as best as possible. So. Uh, that was really a long goal, just to make the team. So, Good. I read in your biography you uh, started some games, you saved some games, you relieved some games. Obviously, you found a great niche as a closer for the Brewers. Uh, did you have a preference going into the year? Would you have rather been a starter? Would you would you like middle relief? Do you like closing? Or does it really matter to a player like yourself? Uh, I think for me, probably reliever. You know, I started in Anaheim, but uh, you know, was, there were some spot starts there. But most of the time, I was a reliever. And, uh, I just think I'm more suited for, for uh, you know, being a reliever. And so... Uh, I really didn't have a goal of being a closer. I just wanted to make the team and whatever role I was going to you know, be if I made the team, do it. And hopefully um, get the job done. If it was a late inning guy, it's fine. If it was an early inning guy, that was fine too. So, Obviously, you've taken this league by storm and you've surprised so many people. I've seen you in the USA Today. I've seen you in Sports Illustrated. Peter Gammons even two weeks ago said you're the hottest closer in the NL. How does that feel? Do you even read that stuff? Do you feel the pressure? Does that motivate you or does it make you feel a little more nervous? How does that react? That's something just coming out of nowhere and you're just like to talk of all the national media. Uh, to be honest, I, I never uh, read that stuff or pay too much attention to it. I just try to focus on everything day to day here, and um, you know, I know that uh, you know a, few, a couple of bad games and all that could turn in a second. So I just try to stay focused on what I do, and um, all that press is, is great. But uh, you know, I can't really worry about it too much or think about it. So I just try to stay uh, stay focused. Also, your mental makeup, like after that game in Minnesota, I know that was hard and you were in a bad situation. You pitched a lot of pitches and, and a couple hard innings. How, how, do, how do you prepare yourself to bounce back and not knowing when to come in and mentally come back and, and do as well as you have since that game? Uh, it, it's tough, but you've got to have a short memory and know that uh, you know, you, the team's counting on you to come back the next day if need be and get the job done. You know, you, you know as, as a closer, you're going to blow say sometimes. You're not going to pitch as well as you'd like, but uh, it's the ability to bounce back and... and uh, you know, get the job done, uh, you know, the next time after that happens. So uh, I'm still learning, still learning how to handle it all, but I think I'm doing okay right now with it. And, uh, you know, I, th I feel pretty uh, positive each and every day I come in here. So That's outstanding. One last question. Um, you know, being from Anaheim, you've been in the Anaheim organization. I, don't know, I can't remember where you're from, but you've been in the organization. How does it feel to come to a city like Milwaukee? I mean, where everything's totally different, the weather's different, I don't know how the nightlife's different. Like, just on a personal, like, what do you do when you're, you know, a young guy? Now you're a big talk of the town. Like, could you could go out. What, like, how do you adjust to a city like Milwaukee? It's just kind of weird. Uh, I really don't go out too much at home. You know, I kind of I go out and eat dinner sometimes and kind of hang out. But um, I love the city. You know, it's really mellow. It's easy to get around, easy going. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot better. It's more low-key, which is the way I am, and uh, the people are great. And so, uh, you know, I couldn't ask to be in a better place, to be honest with you. So, um, you know, I like it. Outstanding. And we're really happy to have you here. Well, last question, what are your goals for the season? Do you see the All-Star game on the horizon? Do you see, like, 40 saves? I mean, do you have a particular goal that – I mean, obviously you're a closer right now. You're the king of the hill in the bullpen, and you're doing outstanding things. You're talked about all over. But where do you see yourself at the end of the year? What kind of goals do you have, or what, what, what do you see yourself doing? Uh, to be honest, I'm just taking it day to day. You know, I don't have any. You know, I'm not looking too far ahead. You know, I'm just day by day, and uh, hopefully, I keep getting opportunities to save games and get. You know, I can save them and get the job done. And uh, hopefully, at the end of the year, everything's uh, you know really positive and um, you know have good numbers. But I just want to stay consistent and help the team win. And and in the long run, if it helps my numbers and end up having a really good season, then great. But uh, I'm just trying to stay consistent and get the job done. So. Thank you so much for your time. Keep up the good work and continue success. Thank you, Thank Derek. You. Thank you. All right, welcome back to the Brew Crew Review. Uh, I'm your host, Vince Travato, along with uh, Mr. Chad Collins and uh, the distinguished Dominic Zeno. We're uh, thinking to move on now. It was another outstanding interview. Chad, that was great with uh, Derek Turnbull. That was I know great. That. We sat down, like I said, for like a half an hour yeah. and had some beers and just, you know, he come seems... back a little bit. Nice guy. Yeah. Uh, any other general thoughts about uh, Turnbull before we move on here really quick? Uh, he's just very laid back. Like he said, back. he's laid back. Milwaukee seems to be a good fit for yep. him. and yeah. Got to pull for him. I like the interview.